Hey there, YouTubers. Here's another beer that I've been wanting to try for some time now. Um, I don't get this up here either. This is something I picked up the other day in uh, Calais, Maine. Um, the only reason I know of this beer is because it's featured uh, most prominently on uh, on uh, Angry Video Game Nerds' uh, uh, rather trashful reviews of certain bad video games. Uh, seriously, the stuff that he puts himself through, it's no wonder why he's uh, angry. Uh, being a vintage video game collector myself, um, I've watched more than one of his reviews, seen him pull, uh, do stuff like pull a bottle of Whirling Rockets out of a, the back of a, an Atari 5200 or something like that. <laughs> or, you know, just to relieve the pressure. And I can't say I blame him after seeing what he goes through. Uh, so, um, I kind of had the idea, I knew I saw this back in January sitting on a shelf, but uh, it just occurred to me that now that I'm starting to do my own beer reviews, I should probably try and pick it up. Rolling Rock is a, um, a macro brew, uh, sort of. It's a micro brew that ended up turning into be a uh, nationwide popularity a long, long time ago. As the front of the bottle, the can actually says, it's 1939. Uh, must have been when that was either copyrighted or founded. Um, it originates from the Latrobe Brewing Company in St. Louis, Missouri. The whole glass contains one pint. Um, it's an extra pale ale uh, consisting of 4.5% uh, ABV. Um, I believe this company is actually no longer in Latrobe. Uh, it's actually uh, brewed in New Jersey by InBev, which uh, bought out Anheuser-Busch that bought Rolling Rock uh, many years ago. Uh, I think I've also read something online about how they're talking. There's a whole thing, stink about them maybe wanting to shut it down, but uh, how can you... Honestly, what these big brewers do is like eat up all the smaller mushrooms and and uh, go power tripping, but uh, yeah, maybe they should just leave it alone if they're going to discontinue it. Anyway, yeah, this is a, uh, a well, a 16 ounce can. Um, most usually feature on on uh, on Angry Video Game Nerds vi videos are like a, a clear green bottle. Um, quite honestly, I'd rather have it from the can <laughs> because uh, it might reduce the chances of it going skunky. Um, on the back, it reads, uh, Rolling Rock, to honor the tradition of this great brand, uh, we quote from the original Pledge of Quality. From the glass-lined tanks of Old Latrobe, we tender this premium beer for your enjoyment. As a tribute to your, tribute to your good taste, it comes from the mountain springs to you. 33. And it's said that the number 33 actually uh, is the number of words from the, uh, the original Pledge. It's just some neat things you read if you read Wikipedia. So, let's give it a pour. Use my ginormous Rickard's mug. It's uh, got the capacity to hold this. Pour it out here. If I can bring that up. Already I can tell that it's kind of a piss color. <laughs> uh... <laughs> Let's see. It's got one one figure head, um, like a golden straw, kind of a yellow color, the same color as my stove. Head's kind of creamy, but it doesn't look like it's. It looks like the bubbles are dissipating. Uh, I can't see that head lasting a very long time. Lots of carbonation though. Doesn't look bad for a big macro beer. Let's give it a sniff. Hmm. It's got like a, a floral hop scent. Like a... with uh, floral and apple kind of overtones to it. It smells like freshly poured apple juice. It's not the most 
pleasing type either. It's it smells kind of like a glass of apple juice from an open bottle that's been in the fridge for a couple weeks. I mean, it's still good, but it's nearing the point where you might want to dump it down the sink. Whatever. If uh, yeah, um, yeah, the head's just about gone. Looks like it's going to lose some decent lacing. Give it a taste. I'll have to say that that taste, the smell carries right into the taste. It's got like a does have a predominantly apple it's not bitter at all it's the hops that are in it give it a kind of an like apple juice taste again like the kind that you would you know it's nearing a point of expiration it uh, the aftertaste in the roof of the mouth comes out and the roof of the mouth comes out more like a bready quality, bread, corn kind of quality come out in the taste. Maybe a hint of like rice. It's obviously got some kind of adjuncts going on in there. We'll give it this much, just nice and crisp. And it goes down easy. It's smooth. It would probably be really good ice cold on a hot day. But as for flavorful quality, it's meh. Mm. It's not very complex, but I kind of expected that. I was kind of hoping it would be nice, refreshing, easily clean, drinkable beer. And it's not really that either. I have five more of those to go through. Oy. First the ginger, now this. I don't know. It's not that bad. It's. I'll finish this. Uh, would I recommend going out and buying it? Maybe if you're a big fan of the Anchor Video Game Nerd. Or you just want something cheap to take to a party, and it's, I mean, a six-pack of this cost five bucks, which, after about a cost the border, cost another five bucks, or ten bucks. <coughs> Excuse me. What can I say about it? It's just macro swill. <sighs> Honestly, there's probably better stuff out there. Budweiser's probably better than this. It's easily drinkable. I'm going to give it a 2 out of 5 just because of that. But honestly, there's better stuff out there. I'd prefer Core's Light over this. Alright, 2 out of 5.